last night waiting and wondering and going into today not knowing Yeah, you know, you're kind of just really anxious to sit in the stands. Um, you know, each team goes up and you're hoping to hear that, you know, that game called. And, um, you can't really expect anything, so... Um, you know, it was a fun night, you know, obviously a little nerve-wracking with my family there, but, uh, you know, I'm just glad that my name got called from it. What did you think? Were you the all your Oh, yeah. It's a lot of goaltenders in the last one. Yeah, I was just, you know, so happy. You know, Vancouver's a great organization. And, um, you know, they drafted Corey Schneider, who also played at BC, so a little bit of a trend there, but um, I'm just beyond happy right now. I can't even put it in words. Okay. About your rise to where you're at right now, I know a lot of Canucks fans have uh, heard about your play lately, but to come from San Diego, not yeah. necessarily a, a hockey hotbed. No, yeah, I mean, you know, there's not a lot of ice time there, so I was up at 5 a.m. getting on getting on extra ice time, and, um, you know, driving to L.A. a lot too, so it kind of takes a little bit more effort just because of the lack of ice, and, uh, you know, you got to make it work. Yeah, played a lot for your country on you know, the international stage, and then you're expecting to be right in the mix for the number one spot for the World Juniors. What are the the short term goals you have set for yourself? Obviously, you know, you want to be to start at World Juniors is, is a goal, but, you know, there's a lot of other guys that could easily have that position. So, um, that and, you know, national championship is always in the mix, too. You know, you're always wanting that. So, um, hopefully, those things can happen next year. Are you concerned at all that the, uh, that the injury was going to be I wasn't too concerned about it. Um, you know, that, that can scare some, some teams, but I made sure that um, they knew, you know, the whole story. And, um, you know, they had the, the medical report. You know, they knew, they knew what to what to expect, so, so to speak. And, um, you know, I don't think it was too much of an issue, but if it is, it's, uh, I'm okay now. That would be cool. <laughs> what do you think of playing at such a young age at BC this year? Uh, it, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it, my teammates and, and coaches did a great job of kind of just – treated me like another guy you know I didn't feel like the youngest guy in the room um, they just treated me like another player and you know just kind of fit right in. Was there anything about what you learned at the national team development program? Yeah uh, coach Granado does a really good job of kind of teaching that that pro side of the game and, and he kind of forces you to have a pro mentality throughout the year and you know in that sense he really prepares guys for the next level really well so um, the things I learned at the national team are, you know, second to none. He's a little strange being back at this building at the tough go in April there. Yeah, didn't have great luck uh, back in Philly the first time, so luckily it's going a little bit better this, this go around. You've traveled all over for your career, uh, down the road playing in Canada. Is that something you're looking forward to? Actually, yeah, I am. Um, you know, it's a great... Great hockey environment, a little bit different than California. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's crazy. So hopefully I can, you know, appeal to the fans up there and make them love me instead of hate me. <laughs> How much time do you feel like you have left at Boston? Um, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, you know, it kind of depends on when the Canucks need me and, and when I'm ready. But, you know, I'm comfortable staying anywhere from one to one to three more years. So it's, it's down the road, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. What do you like about your goaltending right now? What do you like about what you